Okay, I am here updating the BIOS on the Alienware 14. Um, I looked on the Dell website, just because I was curious, and it turns out I have missed three updates for the BIOS. So that could be the whole reason why it's acting up. See, A06, A09. I don't know what the A stands for. Yay. It's not often when the fan goes into full power. Usually only when beginning to save a video, it will go into full power, then it will go to mid power and even out. It's still nowhere near the jet engine that is the M14X fan, so that's a good thing. In BIOS version A07, I think it was, they had um, a Intel driver thing update. So what I'll do is I'll switch back to Intel graphics, and hopefully it won't blue screen anymore when I switch into there. Because before, it did. I like all other zones beat up one at a time. First the logo, then keyboard, then here. Then the mouse pad or whatever, then the back panel. Sometime next year I'm going to need to tighten down the hinge because I sensed when I was closing it today that it's getting a little bit of M15X stable, um, unstable. Meaning it kind of rocked a little bit. It's still good now, but you know, in the coming months it might loosen up more. Alright, I've skipped ahead to when it's com almost completely rebooted. And it's installing driver software for an unknown reason. Oh, okay. Don't tell me it's going to do this. Going to need to reinstall drivers. Because screw you. First world problems. BIOS update, reinstall drivers. Every computer always has PCI device. What is that? If only I knew what it was, I could easily install it. But no, I never know what it is, so I always leave it uninstalled. Is it Intel speed step, something else? Something that doesn't matter, or a vital part of the system. I don't know. Hmm, it froze. Hooray. Doing too many things at once on a hard drive.
After it's done doing whatever, I'll reboot it into Intel Graphics. And then, in the future, I'll let you know if it blue screens. The blue screens happen at random, so... Could be tomorrow, could be three months from now, but it will happen eventually. My guess is it's not going to find the Ethernet controller or stupid PCI device. SD card is a SD card thing. It's not going to change, but the other two, I don't know. Just waiting for one more thing to load up over here and it's good to go. Maybe we should do a defrag on this, I guess. Alright, I couldn't find a PCI device. Okay, good. Installing driver software for a PCI device. Ethernet controller. I don't know what you're doing. Hmm. From what I can tell, it was either the, yeah, it was a Realtek PCIe card reader. So, card reader. That makes no sense. The desktops have that and they don't have a card reader. Maybe it's different every time and it's your wild guess. That seems like a very likely possibility. Ready to use, ready to use. Is this one going to need a restart? It doesn't matter because I'm going to reboot anyways. For Intel driver. What? Uh, number two. Why did it do it in that driver number two? Makes no sense. Alright, I'm going to try the intel, and if anything happens, I will let you know. See you then.